whether you take one piece of breath work, one little movement, one little you know hold, um, and an affirmation. Maybe you emote and you design a little 10 minute morning based on what you need for the day. So I'm gonna just describe really quick two ways of looking at it. One way of looking at it is that if you're feeling anxious and like you have all this extra energy and you have like anxiety and you're feeling a little bit out of your window of tolerance up here, stressed out up here, or you find that that's where you go during the day when things get hard as you go up here, one thing that you can do in your morning is you can counter that feeling right? Makes sense. So like before you even leave your bedroom, you're doing head holds. You're maybe holding your heart. You're doing the deep, slow belly breaths. You're saying, um, you know, affirmations that bring about peace and cultivate peace and you're slowing your nervous system down. So you're already there. And then when you move throughout your day, that's kind of your baseline. And your nervous system has already had that priming for the day. That's one way of looking at it. So if you're stressed, another thing that I have been talking to clients one-on-one -on -one in our coaching sessions about is that you can also do a homeopathic approach where you're giving yourself a little bit more of the stress in the morning. So you're like going to match that energy with like positive affirmations, like move yourself, like, you know, do the breath work where you're like belly breath of fire You're You're like shaking your body and you're like moving it all out. You're like growling and you're just doing that intensity. And then when you get out in your day, you like have this kind of calmness about you because you've gone ahead and matched that stress energy and you've discharged it and you've matched it with this other int intentional energy that's conscious that you chose to do. That's charged with your intentions, charged with your affirmations and then you're out in the world. And then when that stressful thing comes around and you get intense, you've already matched that energy before you even left the room in the morning. And you're like, you're like there, but you're in this conscious space of, I did the heavy breath work. I did my affirmation that really pumped me up. I shook my whole body. You know, your nervous system is primed for a little bit more of a conscious, intentional um, way, to, way to match that stress. Does that make sense? So that's if you're up here. So then if you're feeling in the morning, like you're down here below your window of tolerance, a little bit shut down, low energy, a little bit dissociating, wanting to numb out, wanting to tune out, feeling like that fight, flight, freeze, kind of just the lower vibration. Oftentimes that's me in the morning. I come to my yoga mat, just like dragging, you know, and I'm not, I'm tired and I'm just feeling a little bit under motivated in those cases. To counter that, I would do those deep belly breaths, right? I would shake my whole body and I might, um, you know, say affirmations that, that bring me energy, getting my life force energy back. Um, I'm worthy of having all my life force energy, things like that, that bring all your life force energy back into me. I'm worthy of having all of my energy. Um, and you're doing things that like emoting that are going to just really wake you up like shaking your face like a dog would do if they just got out of the bath or something. So that's one way of countering that low energy in the morning. And the other way of countering it is by being very intentional for 10 minutes with a very calming energy that's filled with love, that's filled with peace, that's bringing in this slow, deep breathing, that's bringing in very meditative sort of qigong movements which you guys will learn in one of the modules um you know bringing in very peaceful sort of yin um, affirmations and maybe emoting in a really slow and soft and nurturing way and when you match your energy in that way then when you're out in the world and you're feeling a little bit shut down you're in this very juicy kind of like grab your cup of tea like have a sweater kind of place you're not like in this low depression dip it's more like you've cultivated this um this intentionality around the level of energy that you have so that you're not just like finding yourself in this low state you're like oh i already was in that low state for my intentional 10 minute in the morning so i just wanted to share with you guys that the 10 minute morning ritual is meant to like regulate us and we can regulate ourselves by countering how we're feeling or by matching that energy 
consciously. If the goal is not to be out there shaking your booty and emoting, you know, at the farmer's market. Like the idea is that if you need to, can you? So what we do with our dream mornings every morning with our 10 minutes is that we are priming ourselves to be able to keep the door open to ourself, to keep that ability to be juicy with our lives and to be able to be vulnerable enough with life that we can move our hips and rock, you know, like was described earlier, or to be able to laugh at ourselves or be messy or flaky or whatever and still get the love like if we can do that then that's every day then that's the practice and we just get more and more or we get more and more tolerant our window of tolerance gets wider and wider and we are able to handle stress better and then therefore we're able to just have more peace um i can't wait till you guys get to that fifth module because it really wraps the course up with a bow and it gives you um something to apply all this stuff to so I describe it like this, like life is like, um, life is like a clock and it has two wheels. One is like a big wheel and one is a little wheel and the little wheels turning really fast and the big wheels turning really slow. You know, the wheels and the clock, the gears, mm -hmm. how there's one mm -hmm. that turns really slow. That's kind of like your EFT sessions. It's like every like week or two or a month or two or something, you might want to do a deep 90 minute tap with yourself and really go there. Um, but doing this morning practice, that's like a little bit of emoting, a little bit of breath work, a little bit of holds, a little bit of um, affirmations, those types of things, a little bit of script from the session progression, just in the morning, like this could be part of your 10 minute thing. I forgive myself for struggling with this. Part of me wants to hold on to this. Just give yourself some love in that area. That could be part of your 10 minute morning. Um, that's going to be the small wheel in the clock. Um, both are important. One is more fast moving and one is just a little bit deeper. When you are in this dream morning, you're generating a feeling you're generating, you're really working hard at your breath. You're working hard at your focusing on your piece. Um, I'll, I hope that you guys get to module five and you find that I'm asking you to click a 10 minute timer in the morning click the 10 minute timer and then just do laundry, go brush your teeth, make the bed, sit down for the last two minutes and then just watch the clock tick down. And finally, when it's done, go move on with your day. It might take you a week to really want to do the 10 minute meditation. It's very confronting to breathe and to hold yourself and to, you know, it's kind of like you're dragging ass to the yoga mat. You click the 10 minute timer and you just like might want to look in the mirror and pinch your belly fat for a while or like pick your toenail or look outside of the week. We're all human beings. We all do the same things. You look at the dirt on the floor. Like you, it's hard to sort of get the focus every single day. So just start where you're at. Maybe it's 30 seconds of that 10 minutes you're doing your practice. So I just want to say that piece that when you do get to that 10 minute practice, even when you have three days in a row of this 10 minutes, you're going to be like, I'm an enlightened being. Like, it feels so good to have like, even just three days strung together. You're like, oh my God, it feels so good. You know, and that's just three days. What you're going to come to find after you have this practice in place is that you'll sit down and you'll start receiving messages. You'll start receiving things in this healing lens of clarity and meditation and self-care. So you're not just going to be generating these feelings that you want to feel or generating allowance and permission and forgiveness and love for yourself or care and nurturing, you're going to start to get guidance on who you want to show up as. You're going to start to get an idea of what it would be like to like, um, what, it, what, what an example of grace might be and how you could maybe do that today. And like, oh, like it just comes to you. It's like a divine intervention. It's like a you know, it's just inspiration basically. And you'll sit down and you'll start to feel that. And um, I mentioned in the module five that at first it feels like distraction. At first you're sitting down and you're trying to do your hold and all you can do is have this ruminating thought, right? Or you're having some distraction about work or kid, a kid, one of the kids and what they're going through or whatever it is. And that's coming to you. And at first it feels like a distraction, but after a while you'll come to know that's just next in line to be loved. 
it's in your line of thought because it wants love. Everything is just everything, whatever's up for us is just next in line to be loved. And you're going to start looking at the pinching the body fat as like, okay, what's up next is I get to transform my body image stuff. What's next is I get to transform that I'm going to be cleaning my house and like, that's going to feel amazing instead of like, oh, I've got to go sweep my floor and I can't meditate because I'm like distracted. Well, you're going to stop seeing things as distraction and you're going to start feeling clarity now. So that 10 minute meditation in the morning starts to totally transform over time to you just giving yourself all this love and acceptance and allowance. And it's just like really nice to feel that flow happening. I look forward to having more conversations with you all. And I'm so happy that you have access to this course for life. You can kind of dip back into it. And I can't wait to hear what opens up for you.